Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and Ubiquity finally did it. Unify OS for the Dream Machine 3.0.20 is in release candidate and has WireGuard support for the UDM Pro. This has been a confusing point where I've discussed these before and said, well, where's the support? Because it's inconsistent between the UDM Pro SE and the UDM Pro when it comes to certain features. This 3.0 OS release brings it up to par with the UDM Pro, which has actually already been at the 3.0 release. And this is where Ubiquity kind of does a disfavor for themselves because they don't have a clear chart to give people buying their products a clear roadmap for which model supports which feature. They just leave it in the release notes and digging through release notes to buy a product doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So one, I'm working on a comparison chart. So once this comes out of release candidate, I can do a review of the device and with its features, it's going to be something I can actually recommend to people because now it has nice open VPN support and WireGuard support. So that's going to be awesome. I'll just wait till it's out of release Canada to do that. And I can go back and I have a video linked down below about a firewall comparison. And I talked about things the Unified Dream Machine couldn't do, which of course created comments of going, but it can if it's the Pro SE. And I'm like, yeah, that's why there's two different categories. And I like being able to go back and see that companies have progressed and added things on there. Now, I don't know why they didn't do this from the get-go. They kind of went this weird roundabout way. I had commented before on the way they did OpenVPN by tying it to their cloud system instead of letting you generate the OpenVPN config for users right in the firewall. They went and did everything the hard way, in my opinion, have now come back to doing it what I would consider a normal traditional way. And it's not like they were really making it more convenient for users by tying you to their cloud system. Now it can be generated, your OpenVPN config file, right in the system, downloaded and set up. So I'll be doing some videos in the future on that. Let me know what else you'd like to know about these. Nonetheless, I'll be updating all these videos. If you want some more Unify tutorials, just leave a comment down below or head on my forums for a more in-depth discussion. And no, I don't know when it's coming out of release candidate, but I figure probably just within a week or two so I can start making those videos. Thanks.